Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? It's Try Tuesday. And for those of you who don't know, Tuesday is where we try new things. And we've, we apologize, guys. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a Try Tuesday with all the craziness that's going on in the world. It's been really tough for us to get a, our hands on anything new. We actually had purchased these right before all the shutdowns and stuff that were going on across uh, the Dallas area. And so um, when we were cleaning out the fridge, we saw this. And then we've got another video, too. We don't advocate anybody goes out and tries to find these. If you can find them on the on the interwebs, like on Amazon or something, try to get them. But I wouldn't get in the, go out to the stores to try to find any of these right now, guys. So um, try to be as, as, as safe and as healthy as you can by staying at home. <clears throat> now this is uh, AHA. Is it juice or is it sparkling water? water? Okay. It's a Coke product. Oh. Which I just realized that right right now. Oh yeah, it's a Coke, Coke thing. I know they're supposed to be debuting a whole bunch of new stuff this year, so we'll see if uh, any of it's any good. But we'll I'll just try from the left right here. We've got citrus and green tea, but I remember I'm already getting nut like this. <laughs> there, this was the only ones I found, and I think I found these at Market Street, which is like our Albertsons grocery store. It's not overly awful, but I don't care for that. If they're cold, see how cold condensation. Yeah. People always get mad at you that you don't drink them when they're cold. Oh no, that's cold. I just don't care for it. It's all right. It's got the same amount of caffeine as an eight ounce cup of green tea. No. Oh. Me and green tea don't get along. That's all right. So this is lime and watermelon. Probably pre 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 pretty refreshing. Yeah. I smell it. They kind of counteract each other. It's not bad. But you don't get one or the other flavor. It's kind of melded together. The bush flavors are usually pretty overpowering. Hmm. It's its own new flavor. I don't. I think it tastes more lime. Do you like it? Um, yeah, it's all right. Okay. Because we had a lot of complaints when people were like, "Oh, hmm," and then we go on to the next thing. I, I'm trying to give my opinion on stuff. I mean, it's not as refreshing as I was hoping it was going to be, because I was hoping it tastes more like watermelon, I think. Okay. But it tastes good. Yeah, you I get, mean, I would drink it. You, you taste both though, right? Yeah. Okay. We've got orange and grapefruit. It's going to taste hairy. Very hairy. He claims that grapefruit tastes hairy. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Excuse me. I get more orange in that than I do grapefruit. So it doesn't taste hairy? No. Actually, I don't really taste very much grapefruit at all. Mostly orange. But not like a fake soda orange flavor. It's more a natural orange. But not quite an orange juice. No, it just tastes like um, like the oil of an orange. The orange zest? peel. The, yeah, the oils and the zest. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. I don't taste grapefruit either. But it's not straight up orange, so right. I guess that that's the mix of it. Last one we got is blueberry and pomegranate, which generally go together. They apparently have a coffee one and a whole bunch of others, but these were the only ones that I had found that day. That's a little a little tart. I don't care for that one. That one definitely needs some sweetener to it. <clears throat> I think it's more the pomegranate that's getting me than the blueberry part. See, I taste blueberry. And it is very... None of them are bitter. Mm -mm. So I wouldn't say it's bitter, but it's very... Um, I don't know. Yeah, they've done a pretty good job masking the sparkling element because with most sparkling water you get a, a kind of a bitter aftertaste none of these have really got a bitter aftertaste i think they're probably the most neutral sparkling water you'll have 
So you like that one the least? Then probably oh. that one. That one and that one? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a bubble. Actually, probably this above that one. I didn't care for this first one. Oh, you don't like the green tea? Yeah. I didn't taste the green tea. I just taste like, I don't know, lemon. Yeah. How much were they? Probably a buck ninety-nine or something like that. That's a big sixteen ounce can, man. Oh, I'm used to twelve ounce cans. Yeah, it's it's just <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? They're bigger than your normal okay. soda can. Okay. I I do some quick math there real quick. Yeah, they have like a coffee flavor one and a whole bunch of like weird mixes. Well they all have like no sugar in them? Mm hmm I might have to check out the coffee ones if we can find them. I wonder if Amazon has them. I don't know. If I find them, I'll link a thing down below if I find them somewhere. Yeah, I mean, if you guys get a, a chance to order them and you're interested, it's worth a try. I, I think there's better sparkling waters out there, to be honest. Um, the Good and Gather ones mm -hmm. from Target, I think, are probably been our favorites recently. I mean, um, I drink all of those that I brought to work except the water, or the cucumber one. Mm -hmm. Bubbly's got a good, a couple different flavors in there, but I think overall the Good and Gathers are probably my favorite. He's been drinking oh. the bubbly watermelon. Mm-hmm. That's the newest flavor, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also burping up a storm, too, when I bring Yeah. Home, so, yeah. Teach their own. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> if you like this video, guys, hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share this video as you see fit. If you have any questions or comments or future Tried Tuesday suggestions, down below is where you do it. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Until then, have a nice day. 16 hours.